My sister Sarah is three years older than me. She did gymnastics, so I did gymnastics to follow in her footsteps, and then we were always very close. We would fight a lot too, but sisters do that. <laughs> When my sister told me that she had breast cancer, I just remember being totally shocked. I was pregnant. She was early 30s, super healthy. She had everything going her way, and then she found out she had cancer. It was hard, it was really hard. And I also knew that I could never face cancer like that. This it was like a pivotal moment. There was no other breast cancer in our family, and she was tested for BRCA gene mutations, and my mother was also tested, and both of them were negative. When I asked my doctor, should I be tested, she didn't think it was necessary because it was highly unlikely the BRCA gene mutation was in our family. But I also had a newborn at home, so I wasn't really focusing on it, and that was it. Why did you get the 23andMe test? Well, it was World DNA Day, and I thought that we would find out if we had sweet taste buds or sour taste buds, or, you know, I always thought that I was of Eastern European descent. And it was a life-changing moment. When we opened up the results, we found out that I had a BRCA1 gene mutation, and I was shocked. I Googled around quickly, and within five minutes, we knew that this was bad. I found out that I have a higher chance of ovarian and breast cancer. Judaism has always been a really big part of my life and my identity. It's important for me to raise my family Jewish. And I found out that because I'm an Ashkenazi Jew, I have such a high risk of having a gene mutation. It's one in 40 instead of one in 400. I don't understand why more Jewish people aren't tested. After getting the results, we met with a genetic counselor. We talked about options for treatment. We also did a genetic test and confirmed that I was BRCA1 positive. Having been retested by the doctor, I found out that it was more than like 80% chance that I would have breast cancer in my life. If someone told you that there was an 80% likelihood that the plane was going to crash, you would not get on that plane. So I consulted with genetic counselors and with doctors, and they all confirmed that I should have a double mastectomy. Oh, you did it! That was really good, I got it. Cooper was just five months old. It just weighed on me that couldn't wait. I wanted to do the double mastectomy when the kids were little, and they wouldn't have a memory of it. Let me pull out the book, Edie. I don't know if you remember this. I made this for you, because you were 20 months old when I was gone for a week. I didn't want to tell you that mommy was having surgery, but I wanted to let you know that mommy was going away and mommy was coming back. This is a story for Edie. My dad had prostate cancer, so as soon as I found out that I was positive, we started to think that it was all related. Edie and mommy laugh together. Now I have ultrasounds on my ovaries every six months. And I'm now really involved in helping to find a cure. And I'm on the leadership council of the Basser Center for BRCA. Mommy always comes back. This is my cause. I don't want my daughter to go through what I went through. This whole experience is very empowering. I was able to take information about my genetic code and keep myself healthy. Why wouldn't you want to know? Why wouldn't you want to do something? We're lucky that we stumbled upon that, but everybody should have access to that. Everybody. If the 23andMe test didn't exist, that we couldn't go buy the test, we would have at that point been at a dead end. It changed everything. Looking back, I'm 100% thankful for 23andMe, and I truly believe it saved my life. <laughs>